Hi, this is Thunder Yi from BorderWork.com and this is our full unboxing and review of the Dell XPS 15Z. The 15Z is Dell's uh, top, top of the line um, notebook uh, laptop. It is the XPS series. Now this is a review unit from Dell, so of course it does have some scuffs and scratches around, but we're gonna show you the unit itself, go through the hardware, and then you know just give you a full review of what we think of the performance, battery life, and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and open this up. We do have our 15Z here, which we'll take out. Get to that in a second. Drivers, we do have Roxy Creator 2011. This is the power brick here, or power adapter with cables. So basically that's all it comes with in that very large packaging. Set that aside. All right, so see. this is the Dell XPS 15Z. It's a 15.6 inch laptop. Um, it's also Dell's thinnest laptop. You can see the design frame where the bottom lip actually sticks out, which is prevalent with all Dell designs now. If you go around the hardware, the uh, AC adapter plug is at the back, as well as your ethernet jack. You do have some air vents here. On the left hand side, you do have your HDMI out. Uh, you do have your ESAT as well as uh, USB 3.0 ports. Um, and then around the front here, there's nothing. On this side, you do have your um, headphone jack and your mic as well as a slot drive which can either be Blu-ray Blu or uh, DVD-R. Opening up the 15Z, there is no uh, lock, but actually the lip comes out in the front here, so you can actually just easily pull this open. Take a look at the keys here. It's got that chiclet style keys here for the 15Z. Um, you know, something uh, prevalent with that Apple design uh, that uh, a lot of manufacturers have uh, copied and taken into. Your speakers are on either side of the keyboard, so the keyboard's actually smaller and you've got enough resting place for your palms or here on either side. Uh, it's got a nice smooth touchpad uh, and two uh, mouse keys, of course. There's a power button here in front. Um, it's a full keyboard. Um, <clears throat> do have some uh, function controls on the top of the keyboard here, which you can see for your, uh, for your volume as well as your brightness of the screen. Now this is an iCore 7 processor. I'm not exactly sure um, what the memory is, but we'll, we'll check all that when we get into the uh, full review segments. It's also got a um, it's got, it's got a webcam here, which you can see. It's a 2 megapixel webcam. Now, device weight, um, it's it's lighter than most Dell laptops, but still it's, it feels a little hefty. Uh, probably weighs around uh, 5 pounds or so. Uh, but does uh, fit well, something you can easily carry. I forgot to also mention your SD card slot here for uh, all your different types of uh, memory memory slots. So um, we'll take a look at this, we'll power it on, use it and see how well it works. But Okay, so having spent some time with the uh, Dell XPS 15Z, uh, the top of the line model, you can see here the specs, it's running the Intel Core i7-2620. And processor, 8 gigs of memory, Windows 64 bit. Um, also has an Intel, I'm sorry, has an NVIDIA graphics card, which is also uh, switchable to the integrated graphics chip from Intel. <clears throat> now, key thing to note here it runs very well, the startup is very smooth. Uh, you will notice there are a couple of uh, uh, applications and things built in by Dell. So, you do have this app dock here, which you can always close, but it gives you access directly to your music. Uh, photos, videos, games. So if I click on that, you can see it brings up my games gallery. I can click out. I can go here to videos. Now, videos here is, are actually um, on demand videos which you can rent or buy. So I can buy Fast Five or, or um, you know, Fourth Call or whatever movie I see fit I want to purchase. It's Dell's way of kind of adding um, an app element to your PC. You also have your photos, which of course your photo gallery, and then and your music, which you can go to your music library. So it's actually a pretty nice addition. You do see that on top here, there's a uh, clock widget for your time, date, um, of course, location. 
uh, <clears throat> so this the uh, this app tray here is pretty nice but you can always X out of it and close that out uh, <clears throat> with as the attempt when it comes to speed of functionality uh, the laptop works very well it runs fast especially editing videos I use power director and the cool thing with that is you can actually take advantage of the hardware using um, video uh, editing software for instance you can actually run with graphics processor which allows you high performance with the Nvidia chip instead of the integrated graphics chip because it actually switches between both to give you better battery life and better battery uh, functionality overall <clears throat> now let's just move and look at the keyboard here quickly now, one thing you notice with the keyboard here, there is no end button, except it's actually with the directional buttons here. The sad thing about this is that when you tap end, if you type in the document, you tap end uh, on there, it doesn't take you to the end of the document, it takes you to the end of the word. So you actually have to hold it down and it will take you all the way over. So it's uh, something a little funky with it. Uh, <clears throat> there's no hard, there are no um, hard, hard drive lights indicators. The only indicator is actually on the power button and that is pretty much it. And there's a light strip here so that shows that it's plugged in or it's charging to your laptop. So um, let's uh, round up this review and uh, tell you guys what I think so about the Dell, XPS with the Dell XPS 15Z. Um, looking at the hardware, uh, the design-wise, design, design -wise, you know, I think Dell's done some improvement. I'm not the biggest fan of the design, I just don't like the cleft lip behind here, so to speak. But it's actually thinner and lighter. For an XPS series laptop, it's got more vents or all around, and uh, the ports are well placed, I'd say. Now, um, when it comes to the keyboard placement, uh, the the position of the speakers take away from the keyboard size. So for someone like me, I have bigger hands. I actually have to bend my hands in to use the keyboard, which is something I really like too much. But uh, other people have tried it and actually like the keyboard settings. So it's it's more of a personal preference than anything else. The keys are well spaced work very well and they're easy to use. The trackpad also works very well. It's easy to, you know, uh, just maneuver and function around with the trackpad. Now, when it comes to performance, I love the performance I got from the XPS 15Z. Um, I, like, I love the fact that with the 15Z, I was able to edit video and do it in a reasonable amount of time. So, I, uh, especially using the advanced uh, graphics option while editing video, I actually uh, was able to edit uh, the video in about uh, it's a five minute video in probably around, uh, let's say about seven to ten minutes or so, roughly. Um, so it's, it, you know, it, it works well. It's it's light enough to carry and function. Um, it's not as light as an Ultrabook. This is not an Ultrabook, but this is Dell XPS line. So it's a, very, it's a performance line. The 8 gigs of memory is fantastic on there. The hard drive also works well, although I wish I'd like to have an SSD with this. Um, I believe there's an option for it. I'm not too sure. Don't help me on that. Just check Dell's website. Uh, the fact that it doesn't have a removable battery is a bummer, but the screws are standard Phillip head screws on here. So you technically can just open it up, change the batteries for yourself, and add um, also add more memory if you buy a four gigabyte version in here. So it's still not bad, you know, that you can actually at least it's easy enough to open up and basically replace. Overall, I give the XPS 15Z. It's a solid laptop. Battery life stated at eight hours is roughly about four hours and thirty minutes of use um, with this, which is still better in the general laptop sense. But I figured when you have the higher and better optimized processors from Intel and, and NVIDIA, we should be able to tap more out of this uh, laptop. So, uh, the XPS 15Z, it's a solid laptop, it's a good entry from Dell. I will hope to see something you know better and much more in the future, but I'll say, yeah, if you're looking for a laptop, uh, especially from Dell, the 15Z is, is the right choice to pick. Um, Design-wise, it covers a lot of features well. Performance, it does a very good job at it and does it well, so that's a good thing. You know, we're concerned about performance. But uh, it's a solid laptop overall. So um, this is Thunder from MotorWork.com. If you guys have any questions, any comments, let us know. Don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. It's all BorderWork with uh, two O's. So this is Thunder from BorderWork saying thank you and always enjoy entertainment.